Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So today's another Tech Tuesday. It's an off segment from what Brian and I usually do, but what we do is we like to also put out these helpful segments to help you guys out there in regards to some of your technical questions that you've had about uh, not only editing, but a lot of 3D printing too as well. A lot of you guys out there do 3D printing um, and things like that for your uh, band promotions or whatever it may be. So we've talked in a previous video about the MKX uh, upgrade extruder. Uh, this is the Redtex uh, extruder, about basically almost the same thing. Um, there's many companies out there that make them. Um, we have several different uh, ones for our printers and just ones that we like to try out or mess around with. Uh, but we had talked about the bolt settings, torque settings, and in that segment. So today we're gonna talk about a few of the other components within this in the spring settings and what to do and what not to do so this is just the component showing it all in pieces and um you'll see here's the spring so in our we'll go to the next picture and we'll talk about the spring and the tension and we'll also show you some uh if you over tighten it uh with the spring and some of the issues it can cause so you'll see here this is the mk8 extruder um almost like i said the same as the other one uh, but you'll see the screw here. This is the tensioner and you can see it's it's tensioned a little bit There's a little bit of a gap there so that as it pushes on this little pin here It pushes the screw either tighter or looser depending upon when you're screwing it in or out and some of you have asked well How tight do I want it? Uh, it these are just one of those things again. You really uh, You have to kind of make a good judgment if you see your filaments crushing cracking or having issues in here and then it's way too tight then you just want to loosen it but you, you but you also don't want to loosen it too loose so when it's on this roller it's sitting there and it's spinning in there and just not catching on the gear so you want to make sure it catches on the gear and and you know flows through the tube fluent and and good so right here is where we have our set but you'll be able to tell when you you kind of tighten it and loosen it if it's crunching it or if it's 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 just kind of one of those things where you have to do it and have to experience it so it's i wish you could get you a, you know a, a good specific uh you know spec but uh you know trial and error is the best thing here and just go ahead and make sure when you're tightening it just make sure it doesn't crack or anything depending upon the filament you're using too i mean pla plus is pretty flexible but if you get like a colored filament or a mixed filament they will crush very easily and that's a whole nother story in itself and we'll talk about that in other videos about those filaments uh, but we wanted to show you the spring tension here and in, in regards to your question so if there are any other questions put it in the comments send us an email we'll try to put these videos out as much as we can and as quickly as we can and get uh, you know get to every one of your questions and if there's something that we haven't experienced we'll try to uh, figure out that uh, solution to the issue that you had asked or if there's something that you guys out there might have a solution to something that we don't even know just let us know and we'd be more than happy to um, you know talk to you about that and we appreciate all the input that we get so we'll see you on the next video